Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Kazooie's a little impatient with me. I've been standing here for a minute or so. But, want to welcome you to another video. Last video, we finished up in Gobi's Valley, and from here, we are going to go to World 7, which I am super pumped for because World 7 is actually my favorite level in this whole game. Uh, I need a good camera angle. I need to grab that overworld jiggy before we go. If I can, these stupid mummies are getting in my way, but there we go. That, I think, is our... S I want to say our... Yeah, sixth overworld jiggy. Oh, these mummies got me, like, trapped in that casket. What a jerk. Alright, so now we need to get to the next world. Long of tooth and strong of arm. Grunty's got the lasting charm. Yes, Grunty, that is why... You want to be beautified, because you clearly are the sexiest broad in this whole entire land. At this point, if I wanted, I could go back to Freeze Easy Peak and grab that jigsaw piece that we need to grab by racing Boggy with the running shoes. But we actually don't have access to the Overworld Jiggy yet, and the Overworld Jiggy is right by Freeze Easy Peak, um, and I don't want to do that just yet. I think I'll go back and get those, uh, mostly just because I'm super pumped to get to this next world. So this one's actually a little bit of a, kind of a, I, w I would say a walk, more like a swim to get to. Um, it's a little bit out of the way compared to some of the pieces we have to put into the puzzles. The only other one I can think of that's kind of hidden so far was uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp. That one was kind of out of the way as well. So you need to open up that note door. Um, if you've been collecting all the notes so far, it won't be a problem because you only need 450. And you need to come over here to this area. And there should be some platforms over by that fish that we'll be able to jump on. And then we'll be able to actually get to our next world. So let's start the platforming, shall we? Oh, you guys have no idea how excited I am. It's too bad that this uh, isn't closer to Halloween, because this would be absolutely perfect. Um, we're going to a level called Mad Monster Mansion. Mad Monster Mansion, I, I feel people like, but I haven't actually talked to a lot of people who have actually said it's their favorite, but yeah, definitely my favorite level. So now I need to swim back. Yeah, uh, I guess it's a better question for when the Let's Play is actually over, but I haven't really saw a lot of comments on what people's favorite worlds have been so far, so feel free to leave a comment on what your favorite world is. We still have three more to go. We've got, we actually have to go into uh, Mad Monster Mansion, and then we have World 8 and World 9 to do. World 8 is an absolute nightmare, and I think it's one of the most revered levels. It's known for being one of the hardest levels in the game, besides Clanker's Cavern, which is more or less just kind of freaky and weird. And then um, World 9, I think, is a lot of people's favorites. But Alright, so now that that's open, we need to actually go back down this way. Um, we had opened up this note door by Grunty's... I guess, mouth. I don't know why she has an obsession with going into her mouth, but uh, we opened up Gobi's Valley. Um, interestingly enough, this actual overworld part, this lava part, was actually supposed to be the entrance to a world that they actually just later took out of the game, which is you know, kind of interesting, but if you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. That was, that was dumb. Dumb, Grunty! Alright, so, here's the little graveyard area. As you can tell, it's kind of a spooky Halloween-ish level. Yeah, there's supposed to be ten levels in, the, in this game, and they took out that world. I think it was supposed to be called Lava World, actually. Um, before you enter the level, you'll want to get rid of that gate. Uh, it'll be useful to us later. And now, we can actually go into the level. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mad Monster Mansion. This place is like Grunty's castle, kind of, or more or less her house. I guess this is like her house in her lair, but I think she- I don't really think she stays here anymore, because it's rather unkempt. And there's even bats flying around her property. Um, 
Oh, I have ten golden feathers. That is fantastic. There's going to be some ghosts here. And the only way to get rid of them is with the Wonder Wing. Um, if you do not have golden feathers, I recommend collecting them if you see them. Um, there's a few in this little maze area, and there's a few laying around the level. But if you can get rid of those ghosts, you will save yourself a lot of trouble because they will follow you around. They are absolutely relentless, and they are impossible to get rid of unless you have the Wonder Wing. So, that's just a word of advice. They're really the only annoying enemy in this level. There's a lot of other enemies in this level I actually quite like. Um, I think they're kind of creative and they really suit the whole haunted mansion sort of theme. I also love the music in this level because it's not really spooky. It's, it's kind of interesting to me. It's just kind of... I don't know. It suits the theme, but it's not too crazy or nothing. She has a golden feather there if you need one. I think my plan is going to be to unlock all of the gates that you see around this area. Um, I'm going to do the outside of the mansion first, um, and then I'm going to do the inside of the mansion, and then I'm going to do the transformation, which by the way I think is probably the best transformation in this game um, besides the crocodile. It, it's, it's a super close tie between this transformation and the crocodile, because crocodiles are pretty cool transformation in my opinion. Um, we don't have to look out for any more of Bottle's molehills. Uh, we learned his last move in Gobi's Valley, so for the next three worlds, or I guess two worlds, if you don't include this one, we'll be able to kind of just take it easy, um, get the jiggies and all the other collectibles, and kind of just finish up the game. So, don't have to watch out for Bottle's anymore. We are going to need some Mumbo tokens, though, and I'm running really, really low, which kind of worries me. So I'm going to need to take a look out for some Mumbo Tokens. And... I'm going to go down here to the cellar of the mansion. When you get to this level, I... Wow! <laughs> I hit that guy. I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, when you get to this level, you have to get rid of all the gates. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. Okay, Grunty. If you say so. It's like she's talking to her lackeys like they can hear her. But, as I was saying, I keep getting interrupted and my thought train keeps going off its rails. When you get to this level, I do recommend um, going through this level, destroying all the gates. You won't be able to do it as a transformation. And um, working your way from the grounds of the mansion like in and then go into the inside of the mansion but it's totally up to you what order you want to do it in I just think that is the most um, efficient sort of way and as I most often do I usually always save the transformation for last and this will definitely be um, no exception in this level I definitely recommend doing the transformation last all right so more gates to destroy I'm gonna go over here get these notes the notes are pretty well hidden in this world too, so you want to be careful to collect them all. These skeletons too, um, to my knowledge, can't be destroyed. You can knock them down temporarily by hitting them. I can try wonder winging them, I've never actually tried before. Yeah, I will destroy them. You can wonder wing them. I'm definitely going to save my golden feathers for the ghosts though, because the ghosts are far more annoying. The skeletons are really slow and they don't, they don't really give me that hard of a time, but the ghosts are definitely um, a different story. I'm gonna get that, those collectibles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go inside this little shack here. And there's a little, you know, I, th I think it's meant to be like a glass, like a drinking glass, but it looks like um, a sheet of ice, and the reason I think it's a drinking glass is because you can see like the, the little details around it. And plus, this guy's name is Tumblr. I'm Tumblr the Mighty! Solve the puzzle, and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. Plus, he says under him, so that just leads me to believe that he's like a drinking glass. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna hop on top of Tumblr. And I love how Banjo just looks so relaxed. He, he's like surfing on this little glass, it's kind of funny. And, in classic Banjo-Kazooie style, we need to actually spell out Banjo-Kazooie. You can only use each letter once, um, so you need to take a quick look around, make sure you know where your letters are. 
uh, they'll light up green, which kind of helps. You, at least you know when you've used them. And you're given quite a bit of time. I usually only have about 10 or 15 seconds um, when I'm finishing this up, but it's nothing to really worry too much about. The A must be down here. Hidden. There we go. Luckily, Banjo-Kazooie is kind of a short word to spell. Especially when a lot of the letters are kind of clumped together. If that purple ghost hits you, you will lose a life. Or not a life, you'll lose a piece of honeycomb, I should say. And he'll slow you down, but he's really easy to avoid. He, he always goes in a circle. So you, you'll definitely be able to see him coming. And there we go. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Okay, thanks, Tumblr. We'll never see him again. And we got our second Jiggy for this world already. Moving on. Gotta have a few more gates we've got to unlock. So let's go down to this area. You definitely need to unlock this gate. So grab that one. Um, this water here will hurt you if you land in it, so be very, very careful. There's a pair of wading boots over here. I'm gonna go around and try and see if I can grab them. I find them kind of useless, though, because when you're wearing them, you're not, you can not actually jump onto those platforms. I think you're actually um, too low, so there's really no point in grabbing them, in my opinion. I'm gonna grab these notes now. It's a little risky to do this just because you have such a risk of getting hurt, but as soon as I grab these four notes, that's it. I'm not gonna bother collecting the eggs or anything. And we'll come back later when it's a little less risky to do so, but you definitely need to take care of that gate. Um, I already went there. So now we can head out into the little courtyard area of the mansion, I think. over this way. And I think I have time for one more Jiggy. This one requires a little bit of work. Um, everything has eyeballs in this game, like I've mentioned like a couple times, but it's so creepy to me. You need to take a gigantic crap in these little pots, and apparently you pay your respects, it grows flowers, and these pots, um, they're kind of like famous, you know, for saying like, F you. But they actually say thank you. It's just they say it in a very weird way. So you need to go ahead and you need to uh, drop a deuce in all these flower pots. And you get a jiggy for that. Get rid of these evil gravestones. You're, you're even having to hit enemies like twice now to get them to die. The game's really stepping up. This level's pretty easy, though, considering that this is a later level. Um, it's really not, uh, it's really not overly difficult or anything. When you get to World 9, that's when you realize how much you have to do to actually get a Jiggy in this game. So we got three Jiggies in our first video. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unlock this gate. This one just goes back into the maze if you need it. Um, if you need to do, take a shortcut back over to the mansion. I'm going to stop the video right here and next time we will go more. Uh, we'll go around the level some more, do some more outside stuff, and hopefully we'll be able to actually head into the mansion. So thanks for watching everybody and I hope that I will see you next time.